Kevin, do officials in China consider the process of continually opening up their economy as an existential threat to the Communist Party? I don't believe they see it in that zero-sum gain. They see it in slightly different terms. Let me put it this way. The bulk of the emphasis, as I read it, of Xi Jinping's speech is about the preeminent, continuing, comprehensive role of the Chinese Communist Party, not just in the pure politics of the country and the personnel who run it, but also across the economy and society. And there are key phrases in the statement, uh, in the speech, I should say, which are relatively new on that front. Uh, in particular, one which says that you will see uh, the role of a party quote, I think, permeate every aspect of society in China, unquote. So that is the political direction. Now, the basis for your question, of course, uh, is based on normal development theory, which has been taught in Western universities for decades, that once you reach a certain level of per capita income, uh, usually somewhere between in the twelve to $14,000 uh, per capita mark, that automatically what you see is beginning of a series of drivers to bring about one level or other of democratic political reform. The Chinese Communist Party has resolved that that will not happen in their country. And therefore, what I find significant is that the Communist Party is, under this speech and under Xi Jinping's leadership more generally, is seeking to sustain as tight as control as possible without at the same time throttling growth in Chinese private firms, which at present are providing the bulk of employment growth within China, which is, of course is key to long-term economic and social stability as well.